Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is the Kickstarter video for September 27, 2024. Let's get started. In the Kickstarter video, I take a look at three major currency pairs, the euro versus US dollar, dollar versus yen, and sterling versus US dollar. There's lots of news. I'm sure you've updated on ForexLive.com, but the PCE data in the US did come out a little bit uh, uh, lower than expectations. The three-month averages of those, those measures are also uh, moving uh, to the downside uh, and uh, certainly below the 2% the level over the last three months. So that um, has things like the stock market and that uh, up with the S&P up about 10.38 points. The Dow Industrial Average is up about 100 points and the NASDAQ up about 39 points. We're seeing U.S. yields move lower with the 10-year yield down about 3.6 basis points. Of course, China is another story. They're been uh, stimulating uh, and uh, they have uh, 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 their, their stock markets have soared to about 13% this week. So that's another story. But uh, I said we'd focus on the tacticals of the three major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar. So with the U.S. Uh, inflation data coming down, we're seeing the U.S. dollar move lower. And that's uh, pushed up the euro versus U.S. dollar to uh, the highest level since, well, Wednesday when the price has spiked up to uh, a, a new high uh, here, at least on the cycle, 1.1213. Uh, if we go to the uh, daily chart and take a look at the, where that uh, took us, that took us out to the highest level going back to this day right here, which is back in July of 2023. Uh, the high price uh, uh, in July of that year came up 1.12709. So if we are able to break above the high price that we saw just on Wednesday, we are going to be looking toward that 1.12709 level, which also happens to be right near the 61.8% retracement of this move down from this high right here which is the 2021 high at January of that level down to the low price that we saw in uh, 2022 in September right there. So the six, the, you know, that's a nice little combination there uh, near the 1.12709 level that uh, traders will be looking for on increased momentum in the euro versus U.S. dollar. Going back to that hourly chart, however, we still need to get above uh, things like this high right here, which is the August 20. Uh, uh, 23 and August 26 highs. That was a double top right there. We did get again get above it on Wednesday, and we saw the spike up to the 112 above the 112 uh, level to the 112 13 level. But uh, getting back above that 112 level is important so far. We haven't been able to get above that level. This area right through here is now close support. This area comes between the 1.1181 1 and 1 1.1897 level. We traded yesterday, we came back up, up to that level after, um, you know deciding that, well, the upside was the place to go. Uh, but uh, in trading here today, early today, we went all the way back down to the low seat. So the volatility still exists here, folks. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you see all the ups and downs. We do need to get above the 112 level and stay above this level to push uh, for the high and then open the door for that uh, move to the 70 level. So keep those these levels in mind. This is going to be key support down here, 1.1181 1 up to 89. Uh, and get above 112, get above 112.13, and then we open the door for the 112.70 level. Let's take a look at the dollar versus yen next. Uh, and if you look at this uh, on the hourly chart, uh, we're seeing the dollar move uh, lower, the dollar yen move lower with the uh, interest rates, with the lower inflation. And uh, in trading, uh, well, here today, we had, well, a new high for the week, new high going back to uh, this day right uh, through through uh, here, which was uh, back on, what, what is that, uh, September uh, third, uh, that uh, the high price that we saw here today was near a swing level that I had, uh, you know, in my charts here as a level to uh, keep in mind. Why? Because, uh, well, let's look at the different uh, levels that this market had pay been paying attention to. Uh, if you go back here, we had uh, lows right here, and we had uh, uh, we moved below that level, used it as a high, and we traded above and below it here. But you can see this, you know, there's there's some pattern here at this level here. That you can you can see that we moved above it here and then fell below it here and that uh, finally gave up and moved to the downside we returned back to that level and trading here today found the willing sellers and boom goes down goes fraser and we uh, we are now below the 200 hour moving average uh and uh uh that is uh more bearish in the swing area right through here so staying below the 200 hour moving average is now the close risk for dollar dollar yen sellers uh if we uh are able to stay below that level. We'll look toward this swing area down here between 141.69 and 141.94. Get below that level, uh, this area right through here. We opened up the door down maybe toward this 140.71, and you know even looking down toward our low prices all through here. Let's take a look at the daily chart really quickly to see where we are um, in this uh, pair. And uh, uh, 
Uh, you know, it looks like we have a swing area up here between 145, 98, and 140. 659, which was another reason why the market uh, thought, found the sellers. So going back even further back here, we found some, you know, either uh, lows or highs coming in within this area. So that was good news. And uh, other than that, uh, you know, not much. Uh, we're in just a lot of a uh, uh, cluster of uh, buys and sells over the last month within this uh, where where we're, at, where we're currently at. So uh, be be aware of that. Most of the uh, the key levels are off the daily, ch the hourly chart in the dollar versus yen. Finally, let's uh, take a look at the sterling versus u.s star i'm going to start by taking a look at the weekly chart on the weekly uh we are uh we have uh are, have and continue to uh move into this uh, swing area the swing area goes all the way back to 2018 2019 2020 through here where it was a ceiling area right through here between 134.11 and 135.11 and, uh, and uh, we uh, broke above that uh, ceiling area area uh fine right through here moving up to our highs where we had double top up here and then we came back down and we retested this uh, old ceiling area which was now floor and, and uh, traded above and below through here before finally uh, moving to the downside through here it hasn't been since this day, point right here which is in early of January 2022 that the market has last been at this area so uh, getting above the 134.11 is more bullish but we have to get above the 135.11 on the top side to increase the bullish bias here and open up the door for further upside so uh, be aware of 134.11 and 135.11 a nice uh, uh, symmetrical uh, number there uh, for um, for traders 100 uh, uh, pips apart. Now, uh, taking a look at the hourly chart, we see the ups and downs that we've experienced in trading here today. And there are a couple things that were in play overnight on the break. One went uh, break lower was that was a 100 hour moving average. We moved below that. But I also had this in red, red here. Why? Because it was a, a level of importance for me uh, this week. And uh, you can see why. Why yesterday we fell below it but held the 100 hour moving average. Today we fell below the 100 hour moving average and held the line. So uh, they switched uh, roles. But the 133.58 level um, was a key level today and uh, held on there and started its rotation to the upside. And you see we're moving up toward the highs uh, as we head into the um, uh, end of the uh, trading week. If we get above 134.33, it opens up the door. Remember, 135.11, 134.11 to 135.11. Those are the key levels off the weekly chart in the Sterling versus U.S. dollar. And so there you have it, folks. Uh, uh, a, a look at the three of the major currency pairs to kickstart your uh, trading day. Uh, my name is Greg Mikulowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.